What is up everyone, Jeremy here with Bogren Digital and now let me just ask you, what if you have this great new riff idea and you wanna capture it quickly before you forget it? Well, launching a DAW and setting up tracks is very time consuming and it takes you out of the creative mindset. Well, this is exactly why the AmpKnob BDH Bundle standalone plugins introduce a new feature we call the Riff Recorder. So let's go ahead and take a look at this feature now and see how it works. So first things first, open up one of the BDH Bundle standalone applications and you'll see the record button with the label REC on the bottom of the application window. Press the record button to start recording and when you do, you'll see it begin to flash. Simply press it again to stop recording. As a shortcut, you can also perform the same action by pressing the R key on your keyboard. It acts exactly the same as pressing the record button. Press it once to start recording and then again to stop recording. Next up is naming your riff. By default, we enter today's date and time, but you can put in whatever you want. I'll rename this My Killer Riff. When you save it, the folder icon on the bottom of the main UI flashes. Click it and the Riffs folder opens right up in the file browser. By default, your Riffs get saved into the document slash Bogren Digital folder on both Mac and Windows. If you'd like to change this to a custom path, you can do that from within the Preferences menu. By default, AmpKnob will save your Riffs as WAV files. You can also choose to save them as OGG files. OGG files will take less space on your drive and you can open them in most DAWs or audio players like VLC. All right, that's it for the overview of the new Riff Recorder feature. I hope you found this information helpful. If you haven't already, find the link for the AmpKnob BDH bundle in the description below and give it a try for yourself.